I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Uh, there's a bothy up in that direction there. One of my favourite ones. Uh, but I was going to leave that till tomorrow night. I was planning on doing a little wild hammock camp somewhere down here. But uh, it's just getting access to it. It's quite steep. I should have probably went into the woodland further down the track and followed the river up. But I might go up this way and maybe follow the river down, see if I could find somewhere in there. If not, I'll just keep pushing on towards the Bothy and spend the night there. I'd rather uh, be out in a little hammock camp though. I could double back I guess and try to find a way down to that river but it's pretty steep down there and I've got a huge pack full of stuff again. So uh, yeah, it's not too bad a day as well. I'm going to see if I can get access down there. There's supposed to be a waterfall down there as well. It'd be quite nice to camp near there. I don't see any decent spot here, I might have to double back and go to the Bothy. I keep hearing helicopters everywhere, so I hope they've not got infrared or they'll think I'm some stranded person down here. I don't know. I think I might just go up to the Bothy tonight. I thought that this might be a good spot, but the embankment's too steep on either side. I don't see any place to camp here, maybe further down the river. What I really need to do is come up here and scope it out without a pack. Insects are everywhere.
Oh, sweet. There's even a little bit of coal here. Superb. Ah, cool. Well, I ain't gonna run out of wood, that's for sure. Privacy. As long as we stand like this. We abandon one or both cylinders in the trailers if we have to and make our priority to get back to the ship. All I want is a proper cup of coffee, made in a proper cup of coffee pot. I may be off my dock, but I want a cup of coffee in a proper coffee pot. Ten coffee pots, five coffee pots, they're no use to me. Hey! If I can't have a proper cup of coffee in a proper cup of coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee in a proper cup of coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. So, that was a little bit disappointing today. I had hoped to do a hammock camp. But there was just no suitable location to set up a shelter. The embankment at either side of that river was um, really steep. Maybe further down the river, but then that's getting more closer to towards civilization. I had hoped to uh, come here tomorrow night, but because there was no place to camp, um, I just decided to come here tonight, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I may go wild camp somewhere else tomorrow. Um, just depends what the weather's going to be like. It looks clear enough. There's a bit, of, a little bit of cloud in the sky, but you know anything can happen. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with regards to sleeping arrangements. I could use that fold down bed, or I could put my hammock up. I've had it up here before, but I was just looking at, there's a pillar there and a, a location across there so I could maybe get it nice and low near the ground. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll try that anyway. I like sleeping in a hammock. Saves all the hassle of having to roll up a jacket uh, as a pillow because the hammock's just, you know, just at the right angle for your head. So I've got my hammock set up, uh, I've tied it off on this post across to here, kind of diagonally. Um, normally when I come up here and I use the hammock I tie it up quite high up here and then the other side goes across to here and I can tie it off there but the problem with that is is that the hammock ends up quite high off the ground and um, I always end up putting a table underneath me just in case I fall out of it so this is a little bit better so a little bit closer to the ground so no damage will be done if I fall out of it not that I've ever fallen out of the hammock I've got my winter sleeping bag because I thought I was going to be camping out tonight and I wasn't sure if it was going to get cold during the night and now this place is absolutely blazing this fire is it's actually making me feel quite ill it's too damn hot I'm going to close this off <sighs> yeah so that's that all set up I don't know if you can see it properly it's a bit dark in here. I haven't got enough candles. 
But yeah, I'm just going to relax here, sleep in my incredibly warm sleeping bag with the heating on, and um, probably listen to my audiobook in my bed. Frank gritted his teeth and waited until he was calm. Rack was right and wrong. Yes, he hadn't been paying attention, but no, he was certain that if he'd caught sight of something out of the ordinary, he'd have reacted to it. Good morning, boys and girls. It must have been about quarter to ten when I hit the sack. And um, yeah, I was just listening to the audiobook and it was nice and warm with the fire on and I just drifted off. I mean, I haven't even <laughs> touched any of the beer hardly that I brought up. I drank three cans last night. That is just unheard of for me. I must be getting old. I remember I used to come to Bothy's for the social interaction and you know, you come up with a group of friends and all that. I don't think I could handle that any longer. I just really enjoy this lone time. So what I'm thinking I might do today is stay here another night. Yeah, I think I'll have a nice relaxing time up here. Um, listen to more of that audiobook. It's quite good actually. It's called uh, One Way. It's about a, a group of convicts that get sent to Mars to build a base. And uh, I've got no idea where I am in the book any longer. Because I fell asleep. Yeah, this is nice here. I really need this. I've needed this for so long. I don't get away often enough. Living in a town, it just winds me up. I get anxiety. All the hustle and the bustle and the, everything's just chaotic. And I need this. I need this. Oh, every couple of weeks, but I only get a long weekend every six. So by the time I actually get out here, I'm desperate for it. This uh, sleeping in a hammock is fantastic. I've said this before in previous videos. I don't know why we have beds in the house. We should just all have hammocks. We'll be a lot more relaxed. Yeah, there's a lot of things about the modern world that I just don't understand any longer. We're not meant to live like that. We're not meant to live in a busy environment. I mean, that kind of shit's okay when you're young. You want that hustle and bustle, but you know, I'm 48 now. I want, like, a relaxing time. Tranquility, peace and quiet. I like it. Weird how your perception changes as you get older.
Frank opened the outer door and walked in. The greenhouse was on two levels and with an open grid floor between them. What possible sequence of events had led to Zeus being in the airlock, both doors closed without his suit? What was he even doing there? He should have been with Zero playing around with a fish. He'd never been one for much introspection. He preferred to keep busy. So why not keep busy doing this, digging into detail of the workshop until he had his answer? It's uh, starting to take shape. I don't think it's going to win any carving awards. But, uh, yeah, this is fun. A nice way to spend an afternoon. Well, I've just had a little visit this afternoon from the people who own the estate. Uh, they came up in one of those buggies. There was about six of them. I think they couldn't have all gone in the buggy. Somebody must have came up in a Range Rover or something. But like, uh, yeah, all that wood that was outside, uh, I helped them lift it in here. That's what they came up to do. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Loads of fuel again. I love this place. So that's my way back down the road. They were, they were reasonable enough. Obviously, you know, they own an estate, they're loaded. So sort of rich kind of toffs, that kind of thing, but yeah, they were alright, reasonable enough people, um, and they've got no problem with me being up here as long as I look after the place, this is great, I've never seen this place run out of wood yet, I think it's time to have a, a cheeseburger, yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll put a cheeseburger on.
Well, the good news is, I'm better at making cheeseburgers than I am at carving spoons. Mmm, that's nah, good. been quite a relaxing day, quite uneventful. Um, I carved a wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah, I got a long way to go before I get good at carving. I've just been uh, spending a lot of time reflecting. Life's strange, right? What is this that we're going through? What is this? existence. What's it all about? I think I mentioned earlier that I suffer from a lot of anxiety and the older I get the worse it gets. Um, hence the reason I come out here but then sometimes even this place makes me anxious because I've got a lot of time to reflect. Strange. It's a strange world, it's a strange life. I don't claim to know what any of it's about. Hence the anxiety. Some people seem to be able to get through life without thinking too much about it all. I envy those people. Must be nice just to accept but um, it's not like that for me I want to know what it's all about if it's about anything at all probably not that's the irony we assign so much meaning to our lives and yet there might not be any meaning to it it's very strange anyway you know Maybe this is what it all means. The spoon. The spoon of destiny. <laughs> what does it all mean? What a mystery. What a wacky mystery. Anyway, it's getting kind of... It's quite dark outside, but if it's anything like last night, um, the moon should rise up. Uh, in the east, just, you know, slightly south to the east, in about another, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. Because, like, last night, when I was lying in my hammock, I suddenly realised that the bothy was really bright. And I couldn't understand why, because all the candles had pretty much burnt out. And that's what it was. It was the, the moon's almost full, and it was shining directly in the window. And that was quite nice illuminated the place because quite frankly it's pitch dark in here and I've only got four silly little tea lights left and these are useless I meant to get other candles but I wasn't paying you know what Tesco or one for them Declan typed in the commands for the dish to seek out the orbiting satellite and let it run as ever, he kept an eye on the power meter, watching it crawl down. The sun was setting, and they were on batteries until dawn. We could be dead by then, said Zero. No one's gonna die. We're staying together. All right, you twisted freaks. Good morning. It's about half past seven. Uh, got up for a pee about an hour ago, and filled the billy can up. Stocked up the fire again, 
So we're ready for coffee. I think we'll have some bacon this morning and um, get slowly packed up and get down the road. This has been a good little trip. A good uh, couple of nights here. Just chilling out and relaxing. Very much needed. Feel recuperated. Ready to go back down to the rat race. Well, never ready to go down to the rat race. Seems like another nice day. A little bit overcast. Shocking. I've still got three beers here. His dream of a steam engine had died with him, but maybe there were more panels in the stuff XL was sending later. They didn't need his generator, and they didn't need him. All right, you twisted freaks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And uh, if I'm still breathing in and out, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>